This morning in our series, Life Lessons, how to add more joy to your life. Psychologist Deepika Chopra specializes in happiness and optimism, and she is sharing some insight on what it really takes to get those positive affirmations to actually work. It's not it's one thing to just say it in the mirror over and over and over, I'm happy, I'm happy, but it's one thing to live it. So good morning to you, Deepika. Thanks for morning. morning. All right, so let's dig in here. Life Lessons 101, you're about to shock the world of optimists. You say <laughs> it is not normal, and I actually agree with this. You know, when somebody's happy 24-7, yes. no. it's like, come on. I'm always skeptical. <laughs> right? Yeah. Don't that trust them. is impossible. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's not human. We're meant to experience the full range of emotions. So if that's like, that's just the happy real. That's yeah. not the real real. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I have to say, though, I'm so happy to be here, but I'm mostly happy to see you, Al. Uh, I've been rooting for you ever you. since the last time I was on. I've been thinking about you, so this brings me joy. Well, He's I got joy. That. Yeah, he does have joy. joy. Yes. So that's the first one. You say practice everyday joy. That's the first one, right? Yeah. So I think, like, the whole thing with happiness, I, I feel like it can be daunting to try and define what happiness really is. Yep. So I like to simplify it because mm -hmm. we're able to work with it. Um, for me, happiness is just about experiencing emotional joy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those daily moments. Daily uplifting daily, moments. Yes. And sitting in them longer. That's I the like that. Piece. Usually it's like something makes you happy and then you move on. And so don't yes. rush through it. All right. No, okay. try to sit in them longer. Right. You, you maintain also that there, there are... I guess physical benefits oh, to, yes. to happiness is what? What are what are those? Yes, uh, people that experience more happiness, they live longer, mm. and not just the years. They're thriving while living. They experience better immune health, oh. uh, less cardiovascular issues, mm. um, better positive relationships, which we know is a huge piece in in health. So there's a lot of physical benefits along with the emotional ones as well. Mm -hmm. and, and you say, you, I mean, there's there's the good moments, there are the bad moments, which you have to experience yes. both. Uh, but but you say you've got got to be present to make sure you are in those moments. Yes, absolutely. I think that so many of us are sort of patted on the back for being multitaskers, mm -hmm. yes. um, especially, you know, especially, especially women, women. Especially, especially women, women right? Yeah. I was just going to say, especially women, you know, it's at the bottom of our CVs. It's sort of like we're great at multitasking. But what a lot of people don't know is that too much multitasking is actually correlated with anxiety and sometimes wow. depression. So oh really goodness. being mindful and not to be, you, you can still multitask, mm -hmm. but yeah. really having these moments throughout your day where you're doing one thing at a time. Yes. And they can sure. be so simple, like when you wash your face, right. mm -hmm. ask yourself questions like, what does yeah. this feel like right now? What does my face wash smell like? So experience your senses. Yes. yes. And yeah. it could be for like 30 seconds. It's interesting because I'll be cooking dinner and, you know, the baby's like kind of pulling on my leg and he's kind of crying and yes. I'm trying to cook dinner and like let him not fall. And then if I just stop for a second and go down and give him a hug, yes. he walks away. You yes. know, it's just like just that little moment of stopping what I'm yes. doing to do something almost more important. Yes, almost. one thing at a time <laughs> for like 30 seconds, a yeah. collection of those throughout the day is so powerful it's and important. effective. Yeah. I love that. Positive so he, affirmations. So many people are told, look in the mirror, tell yourself something positive. Yes. But you say it's unrealistic to think that that's going to change your life. Absolutely. And oftentimes, not just unrealistic, it can actually be detrimental. Hmm. So our brains, uh, not to sound too cliche, but are very smart. <laughs> it's a very smart organ. Um, if you've been thinking a certain belief for 30 plus years and all of a sudden you are told to look in the mirror and say the exact opposite, mm. we're smarter than that. Mm -hmm. And so I have this sort of rule where I say you should use an affirmation if you actually believe it seven out of 10. If you rate it a seven out of 10 okay. in believability, um, if someone's holding a belief of they don't really like themselves yeah. and you know someone tells them to look in front of a mirror and say, I love myself 10 times, mm -hmm. it's not gonna What's work. What's an example of something you can say instead? I would rather ask someone like, what's something you actually like about yourself. Mm -hmm. Something like an example. And if some, everyone can come up with something. You could if look in the mirror and you could say, I'm a great mother. Yes. I'm a great mother. Yes. Or I tell a good joke or um, I'm loyal. You could, you could, and yeah, so no, I'd that. rather someone hold on to that and say that in the mirror 10 times. And then over time, they collect enough That's evidence smart. that yeah. their belief changes. I think a thread right. in everything you're saying is to just take the moment to actually feel and be yes. present. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. If and be authentic. Positive living. This is great, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was so good to be here. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.